yes hello youtube hello everyone yo welcome back to my channel so today it's a sunday morning and i'm currently in my village so today guys there is something that i want to discuss about that is really village life still the most uh, still uh, better than town life that's the question of today guys so i wanna uh, take a walk around this village and I, I show you if the village life is still better than uh, town life and i wanna tell you why to me i have my own thought and uh, i want to also see your thoughts so kindly drop a comment in the comment section and let me know how you think about this guys if you enjoy my videos kindly uh, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends so right now i'm in the village i hope you are seeing right there that's my village so that's uh, our village church as i told you last time these are our neighbor neighboring houses so today guys that's my my point uh in fact i want to ask some a bit questions uh, about uh, village i want to know okay i want to know something uh, little things about the village and why you would say that village life is better than uh, urban life or, or town life and uh, if you are saying that urban life is still be uh, better than village life you also tell me drop your comment and tell me uh, the thoughts of uh, why urban life is better than village life to me I may say that urban life is uh, better than uh, village life because I know that everything that uh, I'm doing, I get it from town. Although I was born in this village, guys, but uh, I still say that urban life is still uh, better than village life. So, guys, uh, let's take a walk around with you guys and I, I, uh, I show you how uh, the village looks. And I think you're going to tell me... Uh, what uh, your thoughts are so kindly walk up with me uh, and let's show you how it looks like guys so this is our village how it looks like and uh, uh, if you can remember if uh, if you remember very well last time I told you that uh, guys there is a lot of noise of this church I think I should do a first pause the video and then I will continue further. There's a lot of noise that side. Yeah, so right now I'm, in, I'm still walking in the village, guys. And I hope you are seeing in the background a lot of beautiful houses around. So today I want to go to see my mom's land. So, uh, just right there and I want to show you how it really looks it's been a while without coming this side so I decided today to come to this place only to show you uh, how uh, my mom's land uh, and house looks so I think you can see that the roads are not well constructed because that is the uh, village life that's how uh, the roads look so I think my mom uh, would say that uh, my boy left me here in the village but not actually not but the, the one one thing that uh, I liked about the uh, village I hope you're seeing that uh, the banana plants uh, look nice hope you're seeing that so the good thing that they are in this village there is a lot of food and actually many people are plant and or, or plant or grow their crops and get free food but the uh, another thing that uh, would seem to be like a challenge in the, in town that uh, everything in town it's just 
for money. If you don't have money, you can't buy anything in town. So I think that's another, uh, the first challenge that the village is, that the village has better uh, than the town. So, but I hope you can see that. Hope you can see that uh, uh, the village is trying to to develop beautiful houses and uh, beautiful environment. You may ask yourself that why uh, this village is very quiet, or this village has. Uh, uh, fewer people. It's not the fact. It's only that it's a Sunday and uh, people are still in their homes and that's why uh, you see that it's like this. So I think let me go and show you uh, how my mom's house looks like. So this is my mom's house. This is how it looks like. Uh, so this house is not uh, for, it's not permanent. It's like uh, temporary. Because it was built by uh, with the stones, and later on they they plastered it uh, with cement. So it's not permanent. So I think this is uh, this is these are my uh, my mom's uh, bananas plantation. And I think I should take a walk around this place. So guys, this is how my mom's uh, land looks like. It's a very big land. Actually, uh, we have we border with the river. We border with the river Mpanga. Those who don't know uh, river Mpanga, it's actually that side there. So this this hole was built to just to collect water from uh, uh, that side from the house. And it comes directly with that stream and it pours it here. So that's a good planning. So, guys, uh, today my, uh, my question was why are these, uh, why uh, is, uh, are still, uh, is village life still better than town life? So, uh, to me, I may say that the urban life is better than a uh, village life, but uh, I think to some uh, large audience, they may say that village life is uh, better than uh, town life because uh, in village, everything is for free. Not for free, not totally free, but uh, perhaps uh, a little bit free because you cannot put in much money, but in town you put much money. That's all, the only challenge that they have seen, I've just seen here in the village. So this is the river that we border with, this the river. Up to the other side it continues, that is the river Mpanga, and it pours its water in the river Nile. Those who don't know uh, river Nile, river Nile is the source, uh, is the, the is the largest river here in Uganda, the River Nile, and it is a source of power. It's where we get electricity here in Uganda. So uh, that's River Nile. So this is uh, the, the the banana plants, the ones that you are seeing, but uh, they are not growing good. You are seeing, they are just smaller, smaller. I don't know why. I don't know if it is uh, uh, the, ma the, uh, uh, the fertilizers, they did add the fertilizers. Because you can see that we grew, we grew up uh, these sugar canes, but they are not coming well. We grew up eh? these ones. They are not coming well. That's a sugar cane, guys. But they are not coming well. So, <coughs> even this, these are cassava. These are cassava cassava but uh, also they are not uh, growing well I don't know why so you can see that these are the leftovers of uh, the uh, cassava 
plants, but they don't know why they are not growing well. I think it's uh, this this land needs fertilizers, guys. Because uh, last time they, uh, we constructed these trenches just to collect water, uh, so that the land keeps uh, uh, with water, so that these these bananas can grow well. You can see. Yeah, they look nice, but uh, they are smaller in size. You can see. You can see that they look, they look good. They look good, but uh, they are smaller in size simply because I think of uh, little fertilizers they added. But you see, they are not growing up well. That could be the the, the problem can see yeah so uh, yeah that's how it is guys and I think uh, <coughs> you can see these are uh, these are fertilizer they tried to uh, to bring here a like cow down so that to bring uh, to work as fertilizer I hope you are seeing it <coughs> so this is the uh, this is uh, another type of uh, banana, but not not like these ones that we, we eat. You can see if you can show you how 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 they grow. You can see that they don't grow well. It's just huh? because of a uh, little fertilizer we have here. Yeah. So. Let me continue. Let me show you uh, the sugar cane. The sugar canes here. So this is the trench. It collects water also. You can see it co that uh, it collects water from uh, up there. From this this big trench. Here we have a big trench here. This one that co goes right there. The one that 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 that. One. So there is another branch, the small one that collects water and pours. So these are the sugar cane. We have sugar cane here, but they are also not growing well. I think because of uh, the fertilizers that you see, they are not growing well. So. This is how my mom's land looks like, guys. It's actually big. It's actually big. 